Hello friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I'll show you the algorithm, the implementation of quick sort algorithm. Using this algorithm, you can sort a series of numbers in an ascending order. To know more about other sorting algorithms, please watch my other videos in the channel as suggested above. So let's see for quick sort algorithm. So what is if uh, quick sort? So if uh, if the if you want to know more about quick sort, you can quickly refer to the Wikipedia page. In brief, what in quick sort it does is it for the list of numbers, it chooses one number which is mostly the last number. And it compares the complete list with that number and all the numbers which are less than that number is kept in the first part and the numbers which are greater than that number is kept in the second part and then recursively this process is continued until all the numbers are sorted out. I hope I was clear if in case you need more details please refer to this algorithm. So let's implement this algorithm in MATLAB. So in MATLAB first let's create a new MATLAB function. Okay, uh, I think I'll name it as quick sort and I don't need, I will just need an input argument say for example x and my outputs the sorted uh, numbers will be y and I don't need any of this so these are the default. If I save it I'll just save it by quick sort.m yeah perfect okay so now let's start. So first let's uh, take the number of counts of the elements which are in the input so length will give me the number length of the elements the number of elements now what we have to do is we have to scan this x uh, for if, if I refer back to my wikipedia the last number we will take in the first uh, attempt and we'll, uh, compare all the numbers with that last number so we have to do a kind of iteration which we can do using for loop for i equal to 1 till n minus 1 because we will anyway use the last element as our um, uh, uh, pivot point or the point from which uh, the uh, from which we will do the comparison so if x of i is less than x of n then what we have to do is we have to okay I think I did something mistake okay, yeah so if x of i is less than x of n so we should put it in the first um, uh, part so we should first create a two empty uh, arrays as well so we can do it like this x1 x1 will be my left side and x2 will be my right side you can also name something as per your convenience x left or x right once you have this so we can have x1 equal to so we will concatenate x1 and then xi yes and then no 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 not then we have to put else and if that's not uh, happen then we have to do x2 To x of i yes and now we can do and yes so so once you have done this this is this is the main main for loop where the iteration will happen so now what we have to do is but before you yeah, are before we proceed this is for general uh, iteration so we have to have uh, some kind of uh, return type also break this recursive function so that we can do when our number of elements is less than two i mean is if 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 say for example if n uh, is less than two that means if n is equal to one uh, then we have only one element so y will be equal to x so say for example if a user enters just uh, two so two, when you sort a number single number you that's the number you know nothing to sort there yeah so that's the uh, return uh, statement or uh, return condition uh, to be said in a better word and now if we have to get the final output so final output y will be here 
the sorted part of x1 so we can use the same quick sort of x1 we can and we should concatenate this with the x in so okay so for concatenation probably we can use this one and x of n and then again we can use this uh, again quick sort and we can call x2 and that's it i think i'm not sure yeah so more or less it looks okay to me so let, let, let me test this uh, algorithm quickly so just before this uh, in my previous example also i have taken this uh, uh, <coughs> as one of my test uh, cases where i have given u as a random number which is a good collection of positive negative and an irrational number pi and all those things so this is my input so let's test this particular code for my u so i will give this quick short enter u as the input to this and let's see what happens perfect so if you see uh, it, it sorts uh, my input u as per the uh, uh, yeah uh, in the ascending order we can we can take some other example as well so probably we can take uh, in this particular video i will take again some random number 5 2 4 7 1 3 0 6 5 9 8 so now let's do this again so instead of calling with u i'll call it with v perfect so if you see uh, this time i chose say simple number so it it does sorts it out 0 1 2 3 4 and since 5 is both are same so it just have it together yeah okay so that looks good so i hope this uh, this uh, video was helpful to you to understand how you can implement a quick sort algorithm in your uh, in MATLAB if you really want if you want to know other sorting uh, algorithm like bubble sort or something please do watch my uh, recommended videos uh, in this uh, link and uh, yeah thanks for watching my video if you have any questions please put in my comment section and uh, if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you bye